This is my Western Union teletype machine. Uh, I got it for free, believe it or not. Someone gave this to me. And it's in okay shape. I've been working on it a little. As you can see, that's the polar relay I built. And we have the teletype writers in here. I, I can't remember what model this is. It's, I couldn't find it, though. I know that. Um, it's, I need to put some ribbons in there. At one point I had it typing when I had it running closed, but I haven't, I don't have it set up that way anymore. It wasn't typing right letters, as I said, well, I may have said before, because there's some switches down at the bottom here that did not, um, do not close properly or still, or closed and didn't, you know, they don't pop back open. So here, I'll open the... Nah, I don't want to do that, because I got that sitting up there. Actually, yeah, I can open this. See, there's the teletypewriter, and here's the switches out of the problems. One of them snapped off the other day, because it had a crack in it, so I've got to repair that. So, I'll show you how this works. I have this on a power supply, so let me turn that on. Let me turn on the machine. So right now I'm just going to demonstrate my polar relay that I built for the machine. So when I press this, you can see the it moves. And you can see it's moving quite fast because it's not just one pulse, it's many pulses. And it's being pulled back with the magnetic field. Now these are terminals right here which will be hooked up to the phone lines and stuff that'll, you know, eventually go to somebody's terminal or another machine. Right, I gotta fix this light, that doesn't work yet. See, I, and I press different keys, different things happen. And that's, uh, that's my teletype machine.